Do you want to stop a deduction from earnings order? First, let's start by understanding what a deductions from earnings order is. It's a legal order from the courts or the child maintenance service, CMS for short, for an employer to deduct child maintenance payments straight from the wage of one of their employees. This is typically done when the employee has not been keeping up with maintenance payments and it's gone into arrears. It's important to know that a deduction from earnings order is specifically used to collect money for child maintenance and should not be confused with other types of earning orders such as an attachment of earnings or a direct earnings attachment. These orders are used to pay back creditors or repay tax credit and benefit overpayments. The amount of money that can be deducted from your net wage is the same amount that you're legally required to pay, taking into consideration factors such as your income, the number of children you're responsible for, and the amount of time that you spend with them. It's worth noting that your employer can't deduct an amount that will cause you to lose more than 40% of your net income. Everyone's entitled to a protected earnings rate, which is a set amount that must be left in your net pay each payday to cover essential living expenses, things like rent and food. If the full amount owed cannot be deducted without going below your protected earnings rate, then your employer may need to reduce the amount of the deduction. Your employer may charge you an additional pound for the administration costs of processing the order, but that's up to their discretion. If you're unable to pay the full amount, your employer is required to record the shortfall each week and try to recover it in future wage payments. If you're unable to pay for consecutive weeks, the CMS may review the amount that you're required to pay and potentially reduce it. You can also request that the amount deducted each payday is reduced if it's causing you financial difficulty. So for example, if the payments are so high that you can't afford the transport costs to visit the child, the CMS may agree to a reduction. You must also inform the CMS if your salary is reduced or if you have a new child with a partner, as these events could also reduce the amount deducted. If you're still unable to pay, the CMS may take further actions such as asking for a liability order to enforce a debt, forcing you to sell a property, repossessing your driving licence or passport, or even sending you to prison. You can ask the CMS to cancel the order if it's not working as it should, or if you come to a different arrangement for payment. You can also ask for the order to be cancelled if the CMS writes to you and informs you that any arrears are being wiped, such as if the other parent requests it or if they've passed away. Remember, there is help for those struggling with debt. You could look into debt solutions. Some of them lower your monthly repayments, while others can even write off some of the debt. There are pros and cons to all of them, so it's best to get a full understanding of them all. Below this video, I've got a short form that'll ask you a few questions like, how much debt do you owe and how many people do you owe? At the end of the form, it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with to provide you with all the information you need. So click the link below, go and check it out and let me know how you get on.